Now, even though we love illusionary, ridiculous magic tricks, we do appreciate that a magician needs to be able to do, well, a little bit of what's referred to as sleight of hand. Uh, anyway, you can learn sleight of hand by practicing for hours and hours on your own, or you can fake it using chemicals. Now, to do that, we're going to have to head across to the chemistry lab. Here we are in the chemistry lab. Now what I'm going to do to demonstrate my amazing sleight of hand is I'm going to take this beaker of a clear liquid, put it behind a piece of paper and swap it out for a different beaker with blue liquid in it. Now I'll try this again very carefully. If you watch closely you can see it starts as a beaker full of blue liquid, I cover it with a piece of paper and the amazing transitioning beaker will swap over for one with clear liquid again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the amazing transitioning beaker of fluid with a mind of its own. So how did that incredibly polished bit of sleight of hand work? Well, the beaker, as you may have noticed, was staying the same. The reaction inside the beaker, though, was oscillating around an equilibrium point. And what was changing was the iodine in the solution. Sometimes it was elemental iodine, and sometimes it was ionic iodine. And when it's elemental iodine, we put a little bit of indicator in there, which is basically just starch, that goes purple in the presence of iodine. And then when it went back into solution and it ionized, the indicator can no longer detect iodine, and it goes clear again. The only tricky bit, as you may have noticed, is nailing that perfect timing. For more about the maths and science behind this and other magic tricks, as well as PDFs and video resources for teachers, please visit illusioneering.org.